Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Do I have students in the class? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Diego. Hi, Elias. We check who else. Hi, Melvin. All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. Hello, Wendy. Salguero. <laughs> Hello. All right. Excellent. Now, welcome back, everyone, to your English class. Today, we are going to finish section five, and also we are going to start working on the midterm. No, we are going to start working on the final exam, all right? This is not the midterm anymore. This is the final exam. So let's check. Today is Monday, February 27th, 2023. What are you doing? Class 15. All right, so please copy the date. Okay, so let's check. Last class, we were practicing with this conversation, right? So we had a Steve and mom. Today, I'm going to listen to Melvin. Melvin, you are Steve. And Sarah Abigail, you are mom. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing? Tony and Steven? Yeah. Maybe your microphone is off. Yeah, I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It to a call in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. No, I I am waiting. Hungry, let it. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Sara, repeat after me. Now I'm getting, getting. Now I'm getting. Right, otra vez, getting. Getting. Excellent. Very good. All right. Cuando yo les pido a ustedes que me lo lean despacio, a todos, ¿verdad? Es porque sé que sí lo pueden hacer, ¿all right? Entonces, si usted haciéndolo despacio, lo logra, significa que sí puede. Lo que pasa es que cuando estamos leyendo, se nos olvida, ¿all right? But that means that we need to practice more. Eso significa que tenemos que practicar más, ¿all right? Teacher, pero este solo ha sido el primer nivel. Tal vez en el segundo mejoremos, en el tercero, en el cuarto, en el quinto. Yes, you're going to be enhancing your learning. Claro que sí, su aprendizaje siempre se va a ir mejorando, right? Pero si no se pone en esa meta desde ahorita, que ya vamos a finalizar en dos días, today and tomorrow, you're not going to make it easily, right? No lo van a hacer tan fácilmente. So, keep in mind. Esta conversación ya la habíamos practicado el jueves. Entonces, ese, ese knowledge, ese conocimiento de la pronunciación ya lo tienen. Y si practicaron durante el fin de semana, you shouldn't be failing. No deberían estar fallando ahorita en la pronunciación, all right? So, let's check. Voy a pasar a una pareja más porque tenemos más conversations. Pero voy a repetir algunas palabras que podrían costar. For example, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Really hungry, really hungry. No me pueden decir hungry. No, eso no existe, right? I'm really hungry, hungry. Let's check getting, getting hungry, getting hungry, right? Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Jocelyn Ramirez, you are mom, and Elias, you are Steve. Action. <clears throat> Do we have Elias? All right, so 
Eh, Diego, please help me out. You are Steve. Otra okay. cosa, es Steve, no es Steven, all right? We don't have an N, no tenemos N. Okay, okay. action. Okay, hi, mom. What are you doing? What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are Why are you do, What are you cooking now? It, it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you doing making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. No, no, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Excellent. Now, everyone, let's move on, all right? This is what's just a warming up. It's solo para calentar. Let's check. Present continuous WH questions, all right? So we have Los Angeles, 4 a.m. Vamos a escuchar el video para que tengamos una, un background, all right? Como un antecedente. De cómo se va a pronunciar. So here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask. Do you hear the audio? Yes. 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 Thank you. Additionally, practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mom, which illustrates. Are you making? That is in what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH plus verb to be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If you look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word. What? Then we have the verb to be. Is. After that, we have the subject. Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? Even though... You can't see the images and you can't see the information you can hear, all right? Aunque usted no pueda ver las imágenes, usted no pueda ver lo que dice, usted puede escuchar, all right? Entonces, tratemos de hacer fuerte ese skill, esa habilidad de escuchar por medio de los audios, all right? Because there's no other way. No hay otra manera de, re, de reinforce that skill, all right? So, let's listen. It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow. 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last. All right. So let's check. Let's go to the PowerPoint. Once again, una vez más. Prestemos atención, all right? Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. 
what's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. Getting up. No es getting up. No somos británicos. It's getting up. Getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. Okay? Now, let's go. Let's start with Roxana Chacon, please. Roxana, usted va a preguntar y Fátima Ramírez, you are going to answer. Usted va a contestar. Roxana, me va diciendo las ciudades y las horas, please. Junto con la pregunta. Action. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What is Marcos doing? Sí, que tengo problema con el internet ahorita. No veo la imagen. All right. Se le movió en Okay, repeat after me, Fatima. It's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. I don't know who of you, no sé quién de las dos, está en una zona donde se escucha un televisor, all right, no sé, me he hecho todo el programa yo aquí, all right, so creo que eso está afectando también, all right, so let's try to be aware, all right, tratemos de ser un poquito cuidadosos con eso, porque a mí me toca elevar más la voz, all right, y Los tengo literalmente enfrente, no hay razón por la cual le va a tomar la voz. Right? So, eh, vamos a ver, Wendy Salguero, continúa usted entonces con Mexico City. Ya hizo lo que no la It's 6 a.m., so she's getting up. So she's getting up. Whenever you're ready, Roxana. Hola. Cuando sí, usted lista, sí, sí. New York City. Ok. Eh, they're having breakfast. No, no, no. Recuerde, recuerde la secuencia que llevaba Rosana. Usted decía la ciudad y la pregunta. Y Wendy va ah. a contestar. Ok. Now you're New York City, 7 a.m. What are you and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Very good. All right. Let's try to pay attention to the instructions. All right. Instructions are everything. Now, let's check. Uh, Vicky Elizabeth, you are going to ask. Usted pregunta. And Lucia Mejia, you answer. Vicky, por favor, me lee las series y la pregunta. Action. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She is sleeping right now. Mexico City, uh, 6 a.m. What's Mar Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So it's get up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom time. Don't. They're having breakfast. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Vicky, repeat after me. Doing. Doing. Mm -hmm. La O suena como o. Thank you, Vicky. Let's go to the next one. Vamos a la siguiente, right? Se ve un poco borrosa. Make your effort. Hagan su esfuerzo. Todos hacemos esfuerzo aquí, right? So we have Brasilia, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's getting to work. No, she's going to work. She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, simple as that. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Elisa Romero. 
you are going to tell me the cities and the question. Usted me dice las ciudades y la pregunta. Diego Valdez, you answer. Action. Brasilia. Now I am. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London. 12 and no. What are you Jame after the day. It's noon, so they're having lunch. Repeat after me, Elisa, James and Anne. James and Anne. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Let's have Beatriz. Let me check, Beatriz. Where are you, Beatriz Hernan Enriquez? All right, you ask, please, mention the city and the question. And then, okay. Melvin Adonai, you answer. Action. Brasilia, 9 p.m. What is Celia doing? She's going to work. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. On school, 3 p.m. What's Andrew doing? He's working. Very good. Great intonation of the questions, both of you. Questions and answers. Excellent. Let's check. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's sitting dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. He's watching television. Let's have Claudia Flores. The city and the questions. And Elias, the answer, please, action. Balcon, 7 p.m. What? Perhaps, Perhaps I'm doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What heroes doing? He's watching television. That's correct. Thank you, both of you. All right. Now let's check. The last one, la última, dice, what are you doing? Recuerden, van, van a decirme su verbo en ING. Usted, si usted quiere, dígame la hora. Si no, no me diga la hora, all right? For example, supongamos que yo le pregunto a Wendy Salguero, Wendy, what are you doing? Entonces viene Wendy y me dice, it's, let me check, it's 8.20, all right? It's 8.20, so I'm in my English class, all right? Or I'm watching my English class, all right? Como tienen que utilizar el verbo con ING, tienen que decir un verbo, all right? I'm watching my computer, I'm watching my English class, I'm participating in my English class, I'm taking notes, I'm drinking water, um, I don't know, think about it, right? Piensen en la acción que están realizando en este momento. All right, I'm gonna give you one minute. Voy a darles un minuto, no le voy a decir a quienes le voy a preguntar, so you better work on it. Así que todos tienen que trabajar en esto. Even if you're falling asleep, también si se están quedando dormidos, right? Um, it's 8.21 and I'm falling asleep, all right? There you go.
All right. So let's get started. Let's listen to. Mm, Wendy Padilla, what are you doing, Wendy? Um, quiero ver. Um, I'm. Dios mío, ¿qué? Ahorita, ¿qué está haciendo con su, con su boca? I am speaking. To whom? ¿A quién? I am speaking with my teacher. I'm talking to my teacher. I'm talking with my teacher. To, to my teacher. To. A mí, uh -huh. a I'm talking with my teacher. All right, excellent. Thank you, Wendy. That's correct. Thanks. Very good. ¿Ya ve? Sí saben las actividades que están haciendo. Melvin, what are you doing, Melvin? I am greeting the class. Very good. Excellent. Diego Valdez, what are you doing? It's 8.21 p.m. in San Salvador. I am speaking in English class. Very good. Excellent. All right. Inclusive, cuando usted se está mordiendo la uña, usted puede decir, I'm biting my nail. All right. Estoy mordiendo mi uña. I'm biting my nail. Very good. Uh, Wendy Salguero, what are you doing? It's 8.23 p.m. And so I'm um, reading in the computer. All right, excellent, very good. Claudia Pineda, what are you doing? Um, I am watching my cell phone. Excellent, very good, you're watching your cell phone. Um, Fatima Ramirez, what are you doing? I writing my English class. Very good, I'm writing my English class, very good. Si no quieren decir writing, pueden decir, pueden decir taking notes, all right? Elias, what are you doing? I am play, playing soccer after. Ah, pero eso es después, no right now. Mm, right? Solo puede decir I'm playing soccer. Ok, porque si me dice after es para una actividad que va luego. Ya ahí se convierte en future. Ok. Uh -huh. Exactly. Now let's check everyone. This is the structure for what we have been asking. Esta es la estructura de lo que hemos estado preguntando. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark. Right, so let's copy this. Okay, let's move on to the guiding examples. Yes? Finished, all right. Let's listen to Vicky, please. Example number one and number two. Ronald Gonzalez, example number three and number four. Uh, what is Marcos eating? Eating? Uh, right now, what are they doing? Excellent, thank you. Ronald? Um, guiding example number three. What are Michelle and Jessica drinking? And number four, what am I saying? Exactly, what am I saying? Right? Por si ustedes se preguntaban, teacher, pero verdad que con... Cuando estoy yo de sujeto, no puedo hacer preguntas. Of course you can. Claro que pueden, right? You should. Deberían, actually. All right? So, let's check. Um, let me know if you're taking notes of the examples. Me avisan si están tomando nota de los ejemplos. Porque justamente después de esto, nos vamos a ir al final exam, right? 
Y después, si nos queda tiempo, vamos a continuar con la última conversation de, de la plataforma. Y si no nos queda tiempo, pues mejor porque vamos a practicar la mañana en el warming up, en el calentamiento. Yes, remember, recuerden que cuando estaban haciendo preguntas con el verb to be, el verb to be pasa antes del subject, right? Entonces el subject va después del verb to be. That's the difference between questions and statements. Esa es la diferencia entre la estructura de preguntas y la estructura de oraciones, right? That you change the position of the subject. Cambiamos la posición del sujeto. All right, so let's pass to the platform. Vamos a la plataforma. Let's check. What do we have? Final exam. How many of you have worked on the exam already? ¿Cuántos de ustedes ya finalizaron el examen o han iniciado a trabajar el examen? I'm. I'm. No, I'm. I'm finished. Excellent. All right, there you go. Those are my students. Let's check. Uh, Beatriz Enriquez, please read the instructions. Do me the honors. To be able to work on the exercise, you need to read the answer first. Mm. Based on the answer, you might type your question. Do not, do not, do not forget to add a question mark and after end. Thank yeah. you. Repeat after me, Beatriz. All right. Based. Base. Able. 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 Excellent, thank you. All right, so let's check. Basically, in order for you to create your uh, your questions, para que usted pueda crear sus oraciones, you need to pay attention, perdón, para crear sus preguntas, you need to pay attention to the answer, all right, a la respuesta. So let's check what do we have. Number one, ah, let's check the example. What's your name? My name is Tim. Are your parents in Peru? No, they are not in Peru. They are in Canada. Let's listen to Melvin. What you got for number one? La respuesta, Yes. Either are they from England? All right, let's, let's check. Are they from England? All right. Thank you. Let's check number two. Number two. Mm. Wendy Padilla, please. Where from New York? Hey, where are you from? All right. Thank you. Number three. Um, Diego. How old is she? Very good. How old is she? Uh, Lisa Romero, four. Are you Japanese? Japanese? Japanese, please. All right. Perdón. Veamos si es eso. De, de don... Let's check. Estoy en la cuatro, Elisa. Yes. Is your first... Uh, Lengua spa? Spa o Spanish? Spa. No, Spanish, Elisa. Right? Spanish. Es Spanish. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's check. Um, Fatima Ramirez, number five. Are you Japanese? Right, excellent, thank you. Let's check. Very good, excellent, yo. That's correct. Nadie se equivocó. Es correcto todo lo que han puesto, right? Para los que no lo han hecho, pues aquí tienen la copia. 
<laughs> ok, nada no, más skinny, I'm sure that you already finished, estoy bromeando, de seguro ya todos finalizaron, si hay alguien que no lo ha hecho, pues I don't know why, pero aquí les están ayudando, right? So let's check, aparte que esta grabación como la supervisa en Safor tiene que quedar registrado de que ustedes lo van trabajando, yo aquí solo voy apretando, right, lo que ustedes me manden, lo que ustedes me digan, so let's check. Y al surgir la oportunidad de hacer el análisis, lo hacemos. Choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Roxana Chacón, number one. Me lee la oración completa y el adjective que escogió. Larry, he's serious. He is funny. All right, excellent. Very good. He's funny. Thank you. Elias, number two. Jane is really good a student. She's very smart. Thank you. Wendy Salguero, number three. My teacher is in short. She's tall. Thank you. And Rolando Hernandez, number four. Orlando, are you there? Your microphone. Perdón. I'm no, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> es, bueno, no sé, la madre buena. My, my brother is good looking. He's pretty. All right, let's check if you say so. Ching, ching, ching. Man, All right. Y yo expliqué, yo expliqué que había un adjetivo y, y espero que recuerden esa clase. Yo expliqué, les dije, hay un adjetivo que no le aplica a las mujeres, por ende le aplica solo a los hombres. Veamos quién me puede decir cuál es el adjetivo. Handsome. That's correct. Handsome. 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 Very good. Ronald, ¿todavía tiene problemas usted ingresando estas dos así, de esta manera? No, la anterior. Eh... De hecho, pues ahorita voy a probar. All right, yeah, try, please. Bueno, luego de clase, mejor dicho. Okay, great. Now let's check. D, choose the correct answer to the question. It says, escoja la respuesta correcta para cada pregunta. Is this Sue's scarf? Lucia, is this Sue's scarf? Sería la opción dos. ¿Ah? Dos. No. Number one. Uh -huh. Is this Susan Scarf? Creo que sería la opción dos. Ah, okay. Thank you. Number two. Eh, Beatriz Enríquez. Whose boots are these? Make that is. Thank you. Number three. Are these Lisa's gloves, Jocelyn? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, they are here. Thank you. Number five. Number four. <laughs> Elisa Romero, please. Whose hat is this? Thinks it's yours. Thank you. And the last one. Claudia Flores, are these Peter's and Carrie's coats? No, they are in days. They are ours. Very good. Thank you. Let's check. Yes, bravo everybody, good job, excellent. All right, eh, siento que este exam viene un poquito más sencillo que el midterm, 
right? El midterm creo que le que cuesta un poquito más porque es cuando van ingresando ustedes apenas al curso, right? Solo llevan dos semanas de clase. Mientras que este, como ya es al finalizar, quizás les cuesta un poquito menos, right? Los felicito. Muy buen trabajo. Letter E. Use the correct present continuous form of the verb. Form of the verb. Are you wearing jeans? Let's check. Roxana Chacon, are you wearing jeans? No, I am wearing a suit. A suit or a suit? A uh, suit. Thank you. Let's check. Um, Melvin Adonai, number two. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? No, he isn't wearing a tie. Thank you. Ronald Gonzalez, number three. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Um, no, they are not. It's very hot. Thank you. And let's check. Jocelyn Ramirez, number four. Is it raining? No, it's not raining. It's snowing. Thank you. Let's check. Let's send. Yay! Bravo! Excellent! There you go. Great job, everyone. Great job. And let's go to the next one. The last one, all right? So, it says, Veamos. Diego, léame las instructions, please. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Repeat after me. Displayed. Displayed. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's check. You will have... Van a tener más de un día libre, Ronald, right? Let's check. Uh, in example, what time is it? It's 20 after 2 or it's 2.20. All right. O sea que aquí pueden escoger dos opciones. Si no recuerdo mal, pueden escoger dos opciones, all right? So let's check. Wendy Salguero, number 2. What time is it? Uh... It's 10 to 7. All right. Otra? It's 6.50. All right, let me check. Thank you. Elisa Romero, number three. What time is it? It's a 45. Mm -hmm. It's a quarter to nine. Excellent. Thank you. A quarter to nine. Very good. Number four, Wendy Padilla. Okay. Um, it's five past eleven. Mm -hmm. And it's eleven oh five. Thank you. Let's end. All right, ya las envié, pero todavía no. Yay, very good. That's correct. Excellent. Great job. Now you see, you've been paying attention. Ahora ven que si sirve prestar atención a clases, si sirve practicar, porque lo logra, all right? Teacher, pero fíjese que yo lo hice a puro traductor, all right? Don't worry. No se preocupen, son beginners. Todavía a este nivel se acepta el translator, right? Entonces, lo importante es que lo lograron y lo lograron por ustedes mismos. Yo no creo que hayan andado preguntándole a nadie. All right, so that's correct. Está excelente. Los felicito. Now, let's go back to the class. Wow, en 10 minutitos nos hicimos el examen. Pero es que no hicimos el listening, all right, porque es el único listening que tienen ustedes. Entonces, siempre se los dejo. Let's check the following. Vamos a chequear la siguiente información. Antes de ponerles la practice. All right. It says, 
activities in present progressive. So you might know by now, es probable que ustedes ya sepan a estas alturas, that actions are verbs. Las acciones son verbos, right? Los verbos son acciones. Or sometimes our feelings, inclusive a veces los sentimientos o los adjetivos son verbos, right? So, in this case, we have body movement. En este caso, tenemos actividades que son hechas con nuestro cuerpo, right? For example, play tennis. Esto es para enriquecer su vocabulario, mis queridos estudiantes, all right? Por eso se los he puesto aquí. Eh, yo no recuerdo haberlo sacado de la platform, pero no sé si está en la platform, all right? So, let's check. No sé si está ahí. Si está ahí, pues, it's okay. Let's check. Play tennis. Ride a bike. Run, swim, take a walk. No me van a decir take a walk. No, eso no existe. Take a walk. Dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. All right? So, let's go one more time. Una vez más, después lo dejo a ustedes. Play tennis. Ride a bike. Run. Swim. Take a walk. Dance. Drive. Go to the movies. Shop. Read. Study. Watch television. Now, let's check and play tennis. ¿Cuál de las dos palabras tiene que llevar el ing si la estoy haciendo en progresivo o en diselguero? Play, playing. Excellent, very good. And number two, Wendy Padilla, ride a bike. ¿Cuál de las tres lleva el ing? Um. ¿Cuál es el verbo, básicamente? Ride. Ajá, entonces en ING, ¿cómo diría? Riding. Excellent, that's correct, thank you. Elisa Romero, run. Running. Running, excellent. Very good, let's check. Eh, Roxana Chacón, swim. Okay, I don't have Rosanna. Let's go with Mr. Hernandez, Rolando Hernandez. Swing. ¿Cómo sonaría en ING? Swimming. Okay, thank you, Miss Chacon. That's correct. Swimming. Number five, Elias. Swim swimming. Take a walk, Elias. ¿Cuál de esos es el verb? Walk. Exactly. Right? El otro está como auxiliar, supongamos. Entonces, Elias, ¿cómo diría? Take a walking. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's correct. Um, también podemos decir taking a walk. Right? But take a walking is the most common. Let's check Beatriz Hernández. Dance. Dancing. Very good. All right. With that being said, habiendo dicho eso, let's practice. First practice that we have, la primera práctica que tenemos, let's listen to Melvin Adonai. Please read the instructions. For individually, try to reach question in the present progress. All right. Ahorita solo quiero las dos WH questions. All right. Two WH questions in present progressive. Aquí les dejo los ejemplos que acaban de ver. I don't want answers. No quiero respuestas. Solo dos preguntitas. Ok.
Okay, have you finished? Okay, that's a no. Let's give them one more minute. Finish. Excellent. Let me hear you. Diego. And what is Julia cooking? Uh huh. What is Julia cooking? Uh huh. And what are they listening? What are they listening? Very good. Excellent, Diego. Those are correct. Another one. Alguien más? Um, I let me hear you, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Uh, number one, what is Maria doing? And mm -hmm. number two, what is Samuel playing? Very good. What is Samuel playing? Excellent. Let's listen Thank to you. Melvin Adonai, please. What is my mother cooking today? Uh -huh. What is thing? No, what are team playing today? What are? Team. Uh -huh. Equipo, playing today. What are the team? Playing today. ¿Qué equipo está jugando hoy? Ah, what team is playing, playing today? today. Right? Yeah. Porque team, eh, aunque está conformado de muchas personas, Melvin, es solo uno. Right? Entonces, yeah, like R or e for the uh -huh. <laughs> Tiene que ponerle is. What team is playing today? Very good. Okay. Uh, let's check. Let's check. Beatriz and then Elias. Action, Beatriz. What is eating? Eating two plus. What are the population they boys? All right, excellent. Thank you, Miss Enriquez. Enriquez, thank you. Let's go, Elias. Let me hear you. What is Julio singing right now? What are they eating at night? Yes, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Elias. Miss Salguero, I hear you. What is Joseph playing soccer? What are they running? All right. En la primera me puso what or why? What is Joseph? Pero me está dando la respuesta a la misma pregunta. What is playing Joseph soccer? Algo así me dijo. ¿Cómo era? What is Joseph playing soccer? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. ¿Qué está Joseph jugando fútbol? Tiene que reemplazar el what por el por qué. All right. Why is Joseph playing football? Ok. Porque si usted pregunta qué y da la respuesta en la misma pregunta, it's like not matching, no machea, right? No combina. Ok. Thank you. Let's check. Fátima Ramírez and then Lucía Mejía. What is mom doing? Mm -hmm. Where is your brother working? Very good, excellent. Thank you. Lucia Mejia? Um, what is... <laughs> Deme un momento. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Let me check. Vamos a ver. Wendy Padilla, y después de Wendy Padilla, Elisa Romero. Ok. Um, why? Why Jonathan is studying English? Why is Jonathan studying English? Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. En number two, um, uh, what are Maria and Mateo doing right uh -huh. now very good excellent thank you 
Let's listen to Elisa and after Elisa, Roxana Chacon. Mm. What are you doing? What are you doing with my cell phone? Mm. Esa es la misma o son dos diferentes? No, es la misma. <laughs> Pero la dos no le puso verbo. Leala de nuevo. What, but what are Danny do doing with my cell phone? Oh, what is Danny doing with my cell phone? My cell phone. Okay. Vaya, pero no me le ponga R porque Danny, Danny no es muchos, no es, no son Dannys. Solo tiene no. a un Danny. Entonces, what is Danny doing with my cell phone? Very good, Miss Romero. Excelente. Pues tengo Thank solo you. una, la otra me falta. All right. No, pero la primera que dijo, what are you doing? Sí está correcta. Sí está correcta, ok. Right. Sí. Está parecida a la que yo tengo aquí, pero solo me cambio el sujeto. Pero está bien, right? <risa> ok. Um, la voy a valer por eso. Let's go with Roxana Chacón. What are playing in the night? Mm -hmm. And... What is your boss drinking? Mm, repeat. Um, o mejor otra. What is Sofia doing? What is Sofia eating doing? What is Sofia eating doing? Mm. Si quiere, mándemela por el chat, Roxana, por el chat de aquí, porque hoy sí quiero revisarles esas questions, cómo me las están poniendo, right? Please, Chacón, do me the favor, hágame el favor. No quiero terminar este curso sabiendo que no sabemos escribir preguntas. Let's check. Eh, Vicky Elizabeth. And then Jocelyn. Um, what Where is she studying? Uh -huh. Where is she studying? What are they watching? Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Let's listen to Jocelyn. Uh, what are Miguel and Fernando eating? Mm -hmm. uh, what are what are Juan reading? What is Juan reading? Ah, is, is, perdón. Mm -hmm. Very good, Jocelyn, thank you. And let's go with Claudia Flores. Tengo dudas, pero igual, <laughs> la voy a decir. Excellent. Dígame, yo le ayudo. What is your sister doing? Mm -hmm. My sister is dancing. All right. Uh -huh. Y solamente hice una. Vaya, la instrucción era que hicieran dos preguntas sin la respuesta. Pero se la voy a valer porque me realizó la respuesta. Pero hay algo que me está incomodando, que no solo usted lo utilizó, Claudia. Todos, casi todos me utilizaron el verbo doing. All right. Entonces, no fue solo usted, Claudia. Don't worry. Por lo menos usted me entregó una respuesta y eso es excelente. Pero me sorprende que habiéndole dado verbos aquí, me hayan utilizado todos doing. All right? It worries me, me preocupa, ¿ok? It, it got me. Me, me. me pone tensa. <laughs> ok, so let's try to focus in another verb. Tratemos de enfocarnos en otros verbos, all right? Let's check the next. Relax, me. Relax. <laughs> no, pues sí, porque ya van a terminar el curso. Y si no saben hacer preguntas, all right? Relax, don't worry. Uh -huh, don't worry. <laughs> I need you to get your perfect score. Necesito que ustedes tengan su nota perfecta, right? Pero no solo sea la nota, sino que de verdad hayan aprendido. So let's listen to... Let me check. Creo que ya no me falta nadie más. Ah, sí. Rolando Hernández. And we finished with you. Y terminamos con usted. Uh, sí. Uh, what are you What what is my brother drinking? Uh -huh. 
y eh, en Chu sería guardéis a swimming. Why are they swimming? Sí, swimming. ¿Por qué están nadando? Why are they swimming? ¿Por qué están nadando? Ajá. Sí, está correcto. ¿Eso quiere preguntar? Sí. Yes, very good, Mr. Hernández. Thank you, excelente. Y ahora sí terminamos con Claudia Pineda, right? Where are my dolls? What is Annie studying today? Excellent, thank you. Listen up. <laughs> Let's check. Eh, la uno no, no llevaba ING, Miss Pineda, right? Chequemos eso. All right, everyone, listen up. It's time to finish the class. Tomorrow we have the last class. Mañana tenemos la última clase. Mañana voy a llenar esos espacios que no han quedado completos, right? O sea, ya tenemos todo lo de la plataforma. Pero, teacher, yo aún así no estoy llenita de ese conocimiento mañana es mi día donde yo desarrollo mis clases all right? mi contenido para que ustedes puedan tener más enriquecido su conocimiento okay? so that's pretty much it for today's class it has been a pleasure to be with you and I'm gonna see you tomorrow bye Hasta la bye. Bye. I see you tomorrow bye, bye. 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 bye.